What's up, Silver Screen dudes? It is Thursday, which means it's time for only one thing. Get those hashtags up, TBT, and hashtag Throwback Thursday. Because as with every week, we are going back 10 years and 20 years in the world of movie making. And as I like to call it, this is the feeling old section. This is where we take a stroll down memory lane and we look at movies as 10 years old and 20 years old. And we ultimately ask ourselves, do they still hold up? And our first entry this week, guys, is really one that's just making me go, wow, where has the time gone? Because that 10 years old, guys, is the movie that made the world stand up and take notice of the great Leonardo DiCaprio, because 10 years old this week is The Departed. Yeah, it's crazy to think that this movie is already 10 years old, but it came out in October 2006 with an all-star cast as well as Leo. We had the great Jack Nicholson, Matt Damon, Mark Wahlberg, Alec Baldwin, Ray Winston. What a cast. And this movie, for those of you who don't know, was actually a remake of the Chinese movie Infernal of Affairs. Essentially, for those of you who haven't seen it, where have you been if you haven't? It is a rap movie. It's a whodunit movie. You've got Leo on one side, who's actually a cop, but he's actually going to be siding with the gangsters in the movie as an undercover cop. You've got Matt Damon, who's basically bred by the gangsters of Boston, and he's going to be in the police department, and the two of them collide throughout the movie. Just everything about this movie, I actually rewatched this only last night, and it still holds up. This movie is just inspirational genius from the great Martin Scorsese and it really makes you think of all the great movies he did this is such an overdue Oscar that he got The Departed still stands up and in at 20 years guys is we're going back to my childhood here is part three of the Mighty Ducks franchise the flying V made famous by coach Bombay played by Emilio Estevez. This movie is arguably the weakest of the three Mighty Ducks movies. Now, what was great about these movies is that obviously not having any real rapport with hockey, not being from the States or from Canada, hockey's not a big thing here in England, if you don't know, guys. But this movie still really brought you in. It's a kind of a sports movie meets a coming-of-age movie, and it really works. And the little bow on top of it is Coach Bombay, played by Emilio Estevez. It's like any good sports movie, you're rooting for the Ducks to win, and and the ducks are going through a bit of a transition in this movie here. All of them are kind of growing up since D1 and D2. Their coach isn't with them anymore. They're not really warming to their new coach. But like with all Mighty Ducks movies, they stand tall, ducks fly together, that flying V-shapes, and you get good sporting goodness from this movie. Does it still stand up? No because we've got better sports movies that have been released over the last 20 years since D3 The Mighty Ducks. Is it a nice little walk down memory lane? Yes. So over to you guys. Do you remember seeing these two movies, D3 The Mighty Ducks, 20 years ago, and The Departed? Again, still shocking me, 10 years old. Have you revisited them recently? Do you think they stand the test of time? Or do you think that there's better DiCaprio movies out there? Or, like me, do you think that there's actually much better sports movies out there? Leave your thoughts and your comments below, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I just want to give a big thank you to everyone who's come over from Instagram. You've helped us hit that magic 2K on Instagram and we're nearly hitting 1K here on our video. Make sure you tune in every week, guys, for our top five show, our Throwback Thursday show, our movie reviews, and our top 10 show. Silver Screen Entertainment coming to you, the Silver Screen Dudes. And until next time, see ya.